Today we're going to learn how we can get the icon associated with any selected folder item instance on macOS. This will allow us to retrieve the file icon as a picture of the desired size in Zozo using the quick, quick Look technology from Apple. That is the technology that's in charge of showing a preview of the file contents in the icon for the file itself. That way the user gets a better idea about the file content without needing to open it in the original app. In addition, this tutorial will also show you how to get the generic icon picture associated with the file type. As you can see here, we disabled the quick look icon. So if we select a PDF file, then we retrieve the generic icon image associated with PDF files. While if we enable it again, the quick look preview, then we'll get the icon picture that displays a preview of the PDF file contents. So how can we achieve this in Zojo? Well, as we've seen in other tutorials, the answer is through the use of declares. That is the Zojo language feature that allows us to use the underlying operating system framework or third-party shared libraries as those like DLL on Windows or .so on Linux, for example. Getting back to the subject, you can see how we've added the icon for file method to a module that receives a folder item instance, the size we want for the returned picture, and a Boolean value that will tell the method if we want to get the quick look preview or the generic icon. Also, the method includes comments for every declared call to the several Apple frameworks we want to use, including a link to the developer Apple developer web page where you can find more information about every one of these Objective-C methods. I encourage you to download this example project from the link included in the description area of this video so you can review in more detail what every one of these calls does and how to translate the required Objective-C data types into Zojo data types when using declare sentences. Through all of these calls, one of the most important is QL thumbnail image create. This is the one in charge of retrieving the quick look image for the file. And once we get a valid reference to it, then we need to create a bitmap representation in order to get the associated data to it using the PNG image format. Once we get the returned NS data object from the bitmap representation, we call the NS data to picture utility method that will be in charge of getting the bytes from the NS data object to copy them into a Zojo memory block instance. So if we peek into the NS data to picture method, you can see how we follow the same pattern used in other tutorials, like the one for retrieving the glyphs from the San Francisco fonts. As you can see, and again through the use of declares, the first thing we do here is to retrieve the data length stored in the retrieve received NS data object. Then we will use that value to create a new memory block instance with the length. And then we will copy the bytes from the NS data object into the memory block using the get data bytes declared method. Finally, we only need to call the shared from data method from the picture class in order to retrieve a Zojo picture from the bytes stored in the memory block. Returning to our icon file method, we can see how to retrieve the generic icon picture associated with the received folder item file type. This is done through a call to the declared icon for file method from the macOS frameworks where we need to provide a shared space instance. All of the processes running on macOS share the same space and also the path to the folder item we want to retrieve the icon for. Once we get the reference as an NS image object, we follow basically the same steps as with the quick look technique. That is, we create a bitmap representation from the NS image object and then retrieve the NS data object that will contain the image data in PNG format. Once we get the NS data image, we call again the NS data to picture method in order to retrieve the Zojo picture instance from the NS data object and that will be the returned icon picture for the file. So what can we do with this? 
Well, as we can see in the example project, we could create a list box subclass that displays not only the name of the file stored in the selected folder, but also the icon picture associated with every one of these files. So the user of the app will have a better idea about the contents of every file without needing to open it. For those files that have a quick look preview, the method will retrieve it. While for those files lacking it, the method will retrieve the generic picture associated with the file data type. As you can see, the retrieval of the file icons is really fast and it provides an extra usability to our user interfaces that deal with files on macOS.